hello, hello. This is Rick coming to you again from Carytown at 16 Hands. This is our second update to show you what we're doing and what we've been up to. We have been busy getting the, the shop back together after we took things all apart to redisplay. Show you a little bit of what we've been doing, how things have been going, some changes that we've made, and what we're doing to protect you, our customers, and ourselves. It's been a really good opportunity to take things all apart and put them back together again. I am joined today by Nate. Hi, Nate. Hi, everyone. And we also have with us the owner of 16 Hands, Miss Jill. Yeah, good to see you again. <laughs> We are. We're all looking forward to seeing our customers. We know we've heard from a number of you online over the, the past few months. And it's just really exciting to show you some of the new things that we've gotten in. These planters are brand new. We're really enjoying those. And they're now right in front of our window. So we have, on market days, the backdrop of the farmer's market going on, which was pretty bustling yesterday. We've managed to do a lot of rearranging. Some of the things that we're doing are, are giving a lot of room, extra room in the shop for people to be able to move around. Love this display that Jill just put together. Kind of a Michigan kitchen display. We've also moved our front door. Now instead of having the single door at the end of the shop, we've moved to having double doors open that don't need to be handled. a station right up front for hand sanitizer. Mask or face covering is required in Carytown. But mainly what we've tried to do is just rearrange our displays so that options are just visible. You can see things. We have a lot of new masks and things. But we've tried as much as we can to arrange things so that price tags are showing and options are visible. Don't know if I said hello myself, but this is Rick. <laughs> and I'm gonna show you a little bit more of uh, what we've been up to. bandanas that we just started carrying. One of the best things about the last few weeks has been to have the arrival of new new work. It's been so long since we've had new things coming in that that's been really exciting. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that kind of brings us to uh, some of the things that we are doing to uh, keep our shoppers safe and to keep ourselves safe uh, during these times. So as you can see, we do have a lot of really fun, uh, funky masks. Some of my favorites are these uh, Johnny Was. Um, he's got some really beautiful, uh, beautiful floral prints. Um, really lightweight, very comfortable to wear. Uh, lots of different fabric options. Each of them is each of them is unique, uh, so we're pretty excited to have those available for you guys. Uh, we also have a different style of mask, um, kind of
kind of similar to the one that I'm wearing right now, um, that has this sort of mouth contour um, that's also a little bit more comfortable and easier to breathe in. Um, you can see our little little monkey up here in our window display. If you're <laughs> able to swing by and check it out, we've got a pretty fun, pretty fun stuffed animal potential uh, stick up going on here. We hope to see you guys soon. Um, but one of the things that we uh, really want to focus on as we're kind of going through these unprecedented times, um, we'd like to try and keep everybody as safe as possible. So we do ask that everybody uh, wear a mask. If you don't have a mask, um, we do have some available to sell. Um, you can buy them online at 16handsandarbor.com um, or come uh, order over the phone or we can do a curbside pickup. We're happy to do that for you folks. Um, we also ask that uh, all of our customers do maintain six feet of social distancing just to keep everybody safe um, and as sanitary as possible. We're also going to be wearing masks and making sure that we wipe down um, all the surfaces that we can and disinfect. Um, it's really important that we're just staying clean and staying safe. Um, so after every transaction, we'll be wiping down our credit card processing um, and using gloves um, and masks always as, um, as necessary. So just really important that we're keeping everybody safe, um, but still making sure that everything is shoppable so you'll notice that some of our layouts have changed a little bit as Rick might have mentioned um, we're doing our best to try and make it really easy to find things in the store uh, see beautiful new products but also have things uh, displayed so that the prices are out so you don't need to uh, pick them up or handle them as much and if you need something that um, doesn't have a price out or if you have any questions or need uh, duplicates of an item we're more than happy to uh, go into the back and pick that up for you. Uh, all you have to do is come up and ask. Yeah, one of the things that's changed is that we're keeping a lot more stock in the back room. So we, when we have um, displays put together, instead of putting um, all of the back stock out, um, we're usually putting just one of each and trying to arrange them so that they're easy to uh, to see all at once without having to, to handle them necessarily. And speaking of cleaning, it's also affected our hours. We're back to normal hours now with the exception of closing an hour early to give us more time to clean at the end of the day. and uh, for your donations to our GoFundMe account. Those have been hugely helpful. <laughs> You're getting us through it. And so we're trying to get you through it as well. Um, these are some new prints we have, like Kristen Selecki. This is kind of says to me how we felt through the whole process. <laughs> At first we were just kind of, oh no, what do we do? And then we had a bit of panic. Uh, how are we gonna pay the bills? How are we gonna, you know, keep our artists in business and all that sort of thing. And now we're happy little kitties. <laughs> Go back to work. And this is another one of her pieces that I love. We're kind of cat lovers here and dog lovers, but this is just cats hanging out. They could care less about the virus. And I love the one on the lamp. <laughs> the, yeah. one, the one yeah. swinging from the lamp hanging is my from favorite. The <laughs> <laughs> and this one just kind of says it all. We just want everybody to remember that kindness counts. Everyone is important. Everyone is welcome here. And just to be respectful of everyone else and um, that'll get us through a lot. Thanks so much. Love y'all. <laughs> so this is what we've been doing. The display work is ongoing. New work is arriving every week. Um, we're excited to get new sachets and um, some bags and things made by our own Barbara here at the shop. 
and we're looking forward to this. We're, we're wondering if these uh, live videos are helpful enough, if it would be a good idea to continue them beyond just the reopening, because it's been it's been nice to to show things and you know reconnect with our customers, but we're also wondering if it's maybe a good idea for the for our customers out of town or who are not ready to come into the shop yet if they would really like to continue these videos because really they've been a lot of fun i mean for the work that we carry and what we do it's a very visually oriented business and although it is always preferable to be able to come in and see things and uh, just pick them up and see them in person. <laughs> it's sometimes better to, you know, you might want to uh, see them online instead. So if you're interested in these videos continuing, let us know. Give us a comment or, you know, just send us some, some feedback. If you'd rather not do that um, here on Facebook, you can always, you can always email us and give us your thoughts. Our email is 16handsinfo, that's 16hands, H-A-N-D-S, info, I-N-F-O, at gmail.com. Um, feel free to reach out at any time if you have any questions or comments or uh, suggestions. We're very open to hearing you folks. Um, we miss you and we hope to see you soon. Uh, if you have any questions about uh, specific products um, that we showed today, uh, almost everything is on our website, 16handsannarbor.com. Um, we updated that with some pictures of the masks, and I know that there was a question there about some of the masks and bandanas, so you can definitely check that out. Um, if you'd be interested in maybe um, talking more about plants, I know that a lot of the customers that come in know that we're kind of plant geeks here too. Um, maybe that's something that we can do in the future. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below or give us a call. Phone number is 734-761-1110. We miss you guys. Stay safe. Well, that's great. Well, let us know what you think and be in touch. Thanks a lot. Take care.